In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and sharing with you why I do what I do in a live online game of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game and stay up to date on all the latest tips and strategies, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to stay up to date and know whenever we release a new uh, video. All right, guys, so I am so excited to be sharing with you today um, just some tips and strategies uh, as I kind of go out throughout Mutt right now. Uh, Mutt has definitely changed. It's a lot, lot different. Um, there's just a lot of things that have changed um, over the last couple of days uh, with some of the new patches, some of the new updates, um, things that you uh, may or may not know about is that the AP got raised to, I believe it was 15 uh, total AP now. And so it just kind of changed, honestly, a little bit of everything as far as how mutt works as far as what's effective uh versus whatnot as well as some of the things with um with zone coverage so um it's just a lot different and so uh this is my first new game on the patch uh but i know it's going to be different just from hearing things from different people um and so we're going to be diving right in now i am running offensively um my nickel 335 wide defensive ebook so if you have not already picked up that defense that is available that will be available for you i'll put a link to that in the description um, if you want to check that defense out you're more than welcome to uh, in my opinion it is the best defense right now uh, in the madden community now really quickly here i did want to also let you know that i am actually running a lot of different abilities right now i am running acrobat on all of my uh, cornerbacks um, on my, just my cornerbacks okay uh, and then my my safeties that are basically playing linebacker in this video you're going to see that i am actually using uh flat zone knockout on them i'm trying some stuff out with that with that with that little adjustment uh seeing how it goes but, uh, it, you know, just to kind of help with some of the flat zones, you know, be able to come down and, and, and make some plays on them. So I'm running flat zone KO on all of my uh, on all of my uh, linebackers. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My two outside linebackers and then my user. Um, I'm actually using out my way on my user. I've thought about utilizing um, the pick artist ability. I might actually switch to that um, because of the running meta. There's not really a major running meta right now. It's mainly passing. Um, so I might shift to that now on off. Offense, I'm actually um, testing some stuff out as well as far as abilities go. I believe that I have deep out elite on all of my on my tight end as well as the majority of my receivers, and then I have one receiver, uh, Isaac Bruce that does not have that now i am running a 49er theme team a 50 out of 50 49er theme team and i also do have uh aaron Rodgers as my quarterback or I'm sorry, not Aaron Rodgers, but Brett Favre. And I have actually beefed him up a lot. Um, I've put pass lead elite on him. I've put um, gunslinger on him. And I also put uh, inside and outside dead eye so that I get basically perfect throw accuracy uh, wherever I go. So I'm actually really excited to use him. Um, in my personal opinion, the quarterback is the most important position on your field. And so you want to be able to maximize that. And so that's kind of the plan. Uh, he does have hot rep master as well. I've actually kind of considered um, honestly taking hot rep master off but see how much better he throws those routes like if you're watching me you may come by the stream right sometime uh, I actually just released this New York Jets offensive ebook uh, really I think it was literally just a few um, a few days ago so if you have not gotten uh, that full ebook yet uh, it is available in the description of this video just like the defense if you want to get that full guide um, it's just $15 that the offense is 15 bucks and then the defense is also 15 bucks as well so um, you know Jets Jets bunch has been a lot of fun now in mutt it's a lot more fun uh in my opinion than regs to run bunch because of how you have just some really really good abilities that you can add in mutt that make it really really tough to stop and also uh for example like hot route master uh would be a, would be a really really good example of something like that now right here i'm going to go with a little bit of a, a little bit of a different route combination here uh, and just kind of seeing you know what my opponent does there i had my out route for a touchdown but didn't end up taking it one of the things that i'm trying to work on uh, as far as an offensive player is i'm trying to work on stepping like 
making sure that I am doing a good job of stepping up into the pocket. You know, making sure that I'm doing a good job of, of stepping up in the pocket. Now, right here, we should be having a touchdown. Randy Moss over the middle. Now, I have deep out elite on most of my uh, receivers. Uh, my tight end has deep out elite on him. It's actually one of the – I really like that ability on him. Um, I also think matchup nightmare would actually be a really good ability for the tight end as well. But uh, I've got I've got um, a deep out elite on him, and then I've got uh, mid in elite. I believe it might be mid out elite, but I think I have I think I've either I think it, actually I think it's mid out elite on Isaac Bruce in the slot there. So going to be using leveraging a couple different abilities here. I actually think I might shift um, to you know mid out elite and then maybe like deep in elite. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place with my abilities right now on offense. I do have two edge protectors as well. Um, I am very much a believer in in needing you know making sure that you have edge protectors uh, i think edge protector is probably one of the most important abilities post patch because of how many people um that you're going to see running one step ahead right here i totally messed my coverage up a little bit there almost got a pick with the room james uh but so far so good right now on the defensive side of the ball um and you'll see that i actually run in between a lot of different types of coverages uh you know, one of the coverages, and I just cannot get my adjustments off to save my life. And we're able to get an instant sack there, which Richard Sherman with the pressure from the three through five wide. But one of the things that I, um, one of the things that I'm going to be testing is this flat zone knockout ability. I actually think um, another quick tip for you, if you're a mutt player, um, this is just something that I've been observing over the course of the last couple of uh, of, of weeks, really. Um, and that is to make sure that you put universal coverage as your X factors on all your corners. If you you put universal coverage on them it does help significantly with their animations and there's that flat flat zone ko ability we're able to get the pick with darius slay and get upfield for some really really good yardage one of the things that i have also noticed about mutt um is just defense plays a lot better in mutt it, it, than it does in regs in my opinion but anyways you see here my isaac bruce has I believe he has uh, mid out a lead on him and there's Braylon Edwards working. But what I like about this uh, this Brett Favre is he has the inside dead eye, outside dead eye glitch where he's got basically perfect throw accuracy no matter where uh, where he's going to go. But he also, and right there is a bad read by me. That's just a bad read, plain and simple. Um, and regs, you could probably fit that in. And mutt, you can't. Um, so just a bad decision all around there right by me. And we're able to give him the ball back, unfortunately. But what I was getting at is if you use... If you use um, the inside dead eye outside or outside dead eye, you're going to have the basically the quarterback that's not going to he shouldn't throw inaccurate, um, at least as far as I know. And so then what I'm able to do kind of off of that little quick flat route there, good read by my opponent. Um, but then what I'm able to do off of that is I'm able to also uh, basically work a little bit as far as. Um, you know, I'm, bas I'm basically able to to work a couple of other abilities in as far as things like um, the set feet lead ability. If you didn't know this, which I need, I did a video on this earlier in the year, and most people haven't honestly really taken advantage of this. But if you didn't know this, if you run the, the set feet lead ability, okay, if you run the set feet lead ability, and there was a really good read on that outside the corner, um, but if you run the set feet lead ability and the gunslinger ability and you stack them together, they actually do um, a really, really, really good job. Now, one of the other things that I've noticed, especially from defending Gun Bunch, one of the things that I think Gun Bunch is really, really, really good at is that route right there. Having multiple different versions of the same, attacking the same kind of depth um, can make it very, very difficult. So I'm going to go to my cover four uh, bunch defense right here. And it's more of a cover two style uh, defense. We've got some people over there in the field. And I'm not quite sure if he's running a corner route or an out route over there. I'm going to have to watch a little bit of what he's doing um on this next play but what we're going to do is we're probably going to man him up the outside receiver in the bunch for those of you that don't know um if you're if you're if you're needing a uh, bunch defense one of the best little tips that i can give you is for the outside receiver in the gun bunch man him up uh why because he's on a lot of routes that basically do a decent job um against his own coverage so if you man up the um 
you know the gun bunch guy than you can see here um, and of course I say man him up and we don't stop him so I guess that's a good read I, I don't know what he's doing over there on that sideline but he's like glitching out my whole defense here so we're gonna go to my red zone setup what I like to do in the red zone um, is I actually like to put these on on zero all three of these on zero and then I'm gonna go to the four four and basically any zone that I come out in you're gonna see that I'm gonna get instant uh, basically instant um, wins there and I didn't get my defense all the way set up and he's able to get in on me for touchdown so honestly about the worst possible thing that could happen but it is what it is um, now again if you have any questions as we're going through this video you can always text me my cell phone number is in the top left hand corner of the screen if you ever have a Madden question you can always hit me up I also release free offensive and defensive schemes every single week to just my text message members players um, these are not these are not things that I really release to anybody else in my community the text message um, members always get a video every Saturday that basically gives you you know a, a new offense or a new defense to try out something new that I'm doing uh, normally they're about an hour uh, in length and they kind of dive really in-depth into a scheme so if you want to get that video um, every week then go ahead and text me as well you can text the word Madden to 208 218 6900 and uh, you'll be able to get that ebook what you'll see here you see that um, Brett Favre as long as you have those two abilities on him and you don't have to have the you don't have to have the set feet set feet lead uh, ability I just think it's a nice to have um, now one of the beauties of the hot route master is the fact that you can put different routes on your players um, as you can see here but we're actually gonna go a little bit more of a max protect setup uh, and we're just trying to hit this corner or this this little fade to Isaac Bruce up the seam and we are going to be able to get him over the top, but unfortunately, um, un unfortunately, I don't know what just happened. But what, for for whatever reason, we were we were not able to um, we we're not able to hit that. So uh, again, I'm going to flip the bunts. Honestly, I'm going to go right back to the same play, and the reason why is because he's been kind of sitting in this similar coverage shell for most of the game. Um, so we're just going to hope here, and that's not not great because he does go man coverage on me. For that one play, of course he does, and uh, and now we're in a situation where we have to basically kind of move a little bit. Now, if you watch this running back route, when he cuts to the sideline, it does normally get that little upfield animation, as you can see, and it's able to beat um, it's able to beat that zone coverage. Now, second to seven, I kind of think um, if I'm in if I'm in this guy's shoes, I'm probably thinking he's going to shift. Did you see that audible right there, um, audibling down into a different defense? Um, and again, you know, just want to have try to give myself a little bit more time here in the pocket. If you watch that R1 receiver, um, he's going to get matched over the top. We're going to try this little fade route to the outside, and it doesn't end up working out for us. His uh, guy is able to get back on that. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to move some stuff around here. We're going to move. Um, we're going to move uh, Randy Moss into the slot, and then we're going to have Braylon Edwards on the solo receiver, and then. Um, Somehow we're going to get Isaac Bruce in the game. I don't know where he's at, but I guess for now we're going Jerry Rice. I don't know if maybe Isaac Bruce is tired. Um, but we're going to flip the bunch when we come out here. So we're going to set it up just like this. And we're actually going to go to an old setup, but a good setup is, and that is Mesh Pose. This is one of my favorite, um, I mean, it's just one of my favorite setups year in and year out. It's just such a good setup. And uh, you're going to be able to see it hopefully work for us here he's been running a lot of different types of coverages here um and honestly he did a really good job with this user i don't know why but i i'm actually going to go to that same play um i'm not he's not running match defense honestly um but he is able to stop us we really need a first down right here we're looking to hit the running back 100 looking to hit the running back but i want to give myself some space um some room in case things do open up so as you'll see right here you know just gonna basically almost honestly just go to the same setup and we're really hit, looking to hit that running back um, if he's open as you see right there open for that nice little low ball and we do have our three timeouts as you can see so hopefully we can get downfield now we don't have to get seven i always talk about this uh in my inside the mind videos you don't always have to get seven um sometimes you can get other things so here he's showing a little bit of a user rush on that right edge so we're going to respect that just a little bit um and right there it's actually really good defense it looks like he played cover two uh, i think it might be one of the first times he's run cover two all game and really ran it in a good situation 
Now, we haven't gone to the setup yet a ton. We're gonna go to the Z spot setup um, right here. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put the running back on a little Texas pattern. And then Isaac Bruce is gonna go on a little bit of a, you can put him on an out route or a fade, but basically we're gonna that motion out here with Braylon Edwards. And we're looking for that R1 receiver uh, over the top. And actually he got an instant shed. Not sure what just happened there. Don't know if double or nothing went crazy. But he got some wicked, wicked, wicked fast pressure uh, on me right there. So probably going to go to the play smash return again in this situation. Going to block my running back. Try to give myself just a little bit more time. Um, and kind of see, you know, what he's doing. And there's that circle receiver. And, and Braylon Edwards, I don't know what just happened. But Braylon Edwards did not do what he was supposed to do. And that puts us in another fourth down situation. This is... Definitely not a place that we want to be. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the bunch tight end right here. Uh, go to one of my favorite little passing concepts at a bunch tight end. We all have probably ran this at some point this season, but the PA boot over um, is such a good concept, especially with the deep out elite here. So we're going to try to hit him uh, in this situation with his user. And basically we got his user out of the middle of the field. Vernon Davis ends up hold holding on to that. And we're going to go ahead and basically we're going to try to take a shot um, and just honestly see you know kind of what he's doing um so we're gonna go to z spot here 100 uh, guarantee you can book z spots gonna be ran uh we just need to make sure we can pass protect it up and hopefully try to get you know maybe seven points on the board here and we're not and he gets that instant pressure so we're just gonna throw it away now we do have enough time for one more play and one of the things that he's doing um that we're gonna try to take advantage of here is we're just gonna snap throw this we're gonna flip the bunch and then what you're going to see here is Isaac Bruce. We're hoping Isaac Bruce can get some separation here. If he's in that quarters coverage um, again, and he is in the coverage, but he does drop back. Isaac Bruce honestly probably saved a pick right there. Uh, good job of my opponent with some of his adjustments. And uh, we're going to have to settle for three points. But like I said, three points is not that big of a, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Um, with focus kicker, we should be able to make this kick. And uh, and we're gonna get we're gonna be getting the ball back at halftime. That's why it's so important. I always talk about this every single game. Uh, I try to weave this into every single inside the mind that you see me do here on YouTube, and that is to tell you guys to make sure that you are going ahead and always choosing to kick the ball off. You always, always, always want to kick the ball off. It's one of the most important things that you can do um, in in the schematic sense of Madden. Now, my opponent has been doing a really good job uh, with his zone coverage of just, you know, basically playing solid zone defense. And so we get the ball back here, seven to 10. We're gonna have to do some simple things uh, to be able to work a little bit better than what we've been doing um, because the, the last drive was not good. Last two drives really, um, we've not been doing a good job of just simply reading the defense very well. So we hope to do that on this drive. The first and first and more, uh, the first play that we're gonna be coming out in is we're definitely gonna be trying just to hit him with that uh, Jets dig play here and we're just trying to hit him real quick um and there we go there's that one play touchdown he went to cover four quarters there's one of the one play touchdowns and randy moss completely glitches out does not react to the ball he's a 99 overall player and he did not react at all to what i just did unfortunately um and sometimes this i mean sometimes this is the way it is i mean it just is what it is now my opponent right there i'm not sure if his cornerback has acrobat or not um but his cornerback did a really 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 good job almost almost actually picked that off on me so gotta watch a little bit uh here my opponent goes to some man coverage that route right there smash return is such a powerful play i believe with the latest patch that that is probably one of the best plays uh in madden 21 right now so we're gonna go to the play flood here and i'm gonna go with that post route on that sideline there um, just to kind of try to work it up a little bit. And like I say, the, one of the most important things that you can do right now, uh, in my opinion, as far as your pass protection goes, is if you can get good at stepping up into the pocket and making a read, it is so, so, so important. Right there, I'm not sure what Richard Sherman was doing. I actually think he was blitzing me. Um, you know, this guy's running some really interesting defenses, but I guess it is it is what it is. Um, so right here, we're going to go to the Jets dig. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to, uh, we're going to flip this bunch here. 
And then we're gonna actually put a corner route out there and we're just gonna motion that corner route out just to kind of see what my opponent does um, as far as that is. And he actually ends up playing looking like hard flats on the outside there and we're able to dot him up over the top. We're probably gonna be going to play uh, mesh here any second. But for this next play, we're gonna just kind of go with a basically a, an angle route to our running back. And we're just gonna try to read this play right over the middle honestly that should have been an interception i thought i got that animation i don't know if you've ever gotten that before but sometimes you will get an animation where basically it's like an instant win animation on that angle route i thought that was what i just got unfortunately uh almost i got really really fortunate that i didn't throw an interception right there but I'm gonna go to this rpo trap now whenever i have somebody like this where they're just in a defense that i know the rpo trap is relatively effective against um, I'm going to try to force feed it a little bit and just try to get a quick six uh, is really all I'm trying to do. And I actually am able to get in there and that was huge. Those last two drives, I really honestly, you know, probably should have been picked off on that last play with the angle route uh, by my opponent. He was playing really good defense, but we're able to go in, get seven. And now if you look at the scoreboard, we're up by two possessions. It's so, so important, um, in my opinion, to be up by two possessions. The reason why is because it really forces a lot of pressure on your opponent. He has to play a little bit differently. With only six minutes being left in this game, he's going to have to do uh, some things, you know, some different things to try to, you know, accelerate this up and really work the ball put down the field. So uh, my coaching adjustments might change a little bit. Uh, right here, we're going to run some match coverage on my opponent uh, just to kind of see how he ha handles it. We have haven't ran match coverage yet and so um you know we're kind of banking on a little bit of the element of surprise right here a uh, little, little jets dig and actually a really good route again and i'm not sure what he's run. i i don't know why um i don't know if he's running literally just a smart routed out route over there but for whatever reason uh that route is getting way way too open so we're gonna go to a little bit of a different coverage right here to try to take care of that uh, we're gonna go to a little bit of a Mabel, uh, and hopefully we can take care of that, that Jets dig issue. And he's going to throw it up over the top. And that's what that's what's so good about these corners. Whenever you put things like universal coverage on your corners, whenever you put things like that, they tend to jump a little bit better. And it looks like this guy's going to go ahead and quit out. To be honest, we probably shouldn't have won that game, but that's a little bit about inside the mind. If you guys want to join my PlayStation 4 CFM, we are drafting on Friday. So make sure to text me. My cell phone number is 208 218-6900 it's also in the description and again if you want to get the schemes that i was running either the offense or the defense both of the links to those full ebooks are in the description thanks for your time and we'll see you on tonight's stream at 10 p.m eastern right here on youtube